Hello and welcome back to another Skyrim video uh, with me, Monk. We rejoined the action where we left off last time, and we was just going to go hand in the Dragonstone tablet back to Forengar. Uh, so let's do that. I used to be an adventurer like you, and I took an arrow in the knee. Oh no. Hear that everywhere now. Trust that to be the first thing that we hear. You see, the terminology is clearly first era or even earlier. I'm convinced this is a copy of a much older text. Perhaps dating to just after the Dragon War. If so, I could use this to cross reference the names with other later texts. Good. I'm glad you're making progress. My employers are anxious to have some tangible answers. Oh, have no fear. The Jarl himself has finally taken an interest, so I'm now able to devote most of my time to this research. Time is running, Farngar, don't forget. This isn't some theoretical question. Dragons have come back. Yes, yes, don't worry. Although the chance to see a living dragon up close would be tremendously valuable. Now, mm -hmm. let me show you something else I found. Very intriguing. I think your employers may be interested as well. Hmm? Ah, yes, the Jarl's protege. Back from Bleak Falls Barrow. <laughs> you didn't die, it seems. Nope. Ah, Still alive. Stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. Seems you are a cut above the usual brutes the Jarl sends my way. That is where your job ends and mine begins. The work of the mind, sadly undervalued in Skyrim. My associate here will be pleased to see your handiwork. She discovered its location by means she has so far declined to share with me. So your information was correct after all. And we have our friend here to thank for recovering it for us. He went into Bleak Falls Barrow and got that? Nice work. Thank you, thank you. Just send me a copy when you've deciphered it. Barangar, you need to come at once. A dragon's been sighted nearby. <gasps> you should come too. Oh well. A dragon. How exciting. It is exciting. What was it seen? What was it doing? Flying around. I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a Blowing dragon shit decides up. to attack Whiterun, I don't know if we can stop it. Let's go. So, Irileth tells me you came from the Western Watchtower? Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. Oh, that's right. I saw it coming from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the Watchtower? It danced around. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me, for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. Burn. Irileth, you'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. Everyone I needs want you my to help. Go with and help her fight this dragon. Ooh. You survived Helgen. So you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And okay. please, accept this gift from my personal armory. You should come along. I would very much like to see this dragon. Iron Helmet of Restoration. No, I can't afford to risk both of you. I need you here working on ways to defend the city against these dragons. As you command. One last thing, Irrelevant. This isn't a death or glory mission. I need to know what we're dealing with. Don't worry, my lord. I'm the very soul of Korth. I 
Let's go, we have no time to waste. We have no time to waste, come on. I've seen you helping the yard. If only all visitors to White Run were as noble. You look sick. I hope it's not contagious. Look who's talking. Cheeky mare. It's no fun getting pushed around all the time. Here's the situation. Do you get to the Cloud District very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. Now we're in for it. Oh, it's all cheeky and rude. You heard right. I said a dragon. I don't much care where it came from or who sent it. What I do know is that it's made the mistake of attacking Whiterun. Postman sent it. My friend Olava? The seer? She says things will get better for me. None of us have ever seen a dragon before or expected I work to face one in battle. Oh, shut up. We are honor bound to fight it, even if we fail. This dragon is threatening our homes, our families. Could you call yourselves Nords if you ran from this monster? Are you going to let me face this thing alone? Disrespect the law, you disrespect so me. dead. But it's more than our honor at stake here. Think of it. The first dragon seen in Skyrim since the last age. The glory of killing it is ours, if you're with me. Now what do you say? Shall we go kill us a dragon? Yeah. Hoorah! Right. Let's move out. Come to chat with an old woman. No, no, I've gone to a uh, go to the dragon. Uh, just while we're running, uh, just point out a couple of things. I've done uh, just done a couple of things before started recording. I uh, got my smithing up a little bit, so I can now craft dwarven armor. Uh, and hand, just handed in those side quests and uh, leveled up in the process as well and uh, that's about it so haven't missed anything Signs of any dragon right now, but it sure looks like he's in here. I know it looks bad, but we've got to figure out what happened and if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere. Spread out, look for survivors. We need to know what. Gonna be around here somewhere. No, get back. It's still here somewhere. Crocky and Tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. Guardsman, what happened here? Where's this? Make a run for it. Guardsman, what happened here? Where's this dragon? Quickly now! I don't know. Kinneret, save us. Here he comes again. Here he comes. Find cover and make every arrow count. I can't see him. Where is he? Oh my god. 
Well, I'm pretty useless at the moment until he lands. There we go, there we go. Oh, no, maybe not. I think I uh, need to start training up marksmen, maybe. So at the moment, I'm a bit useless. Oh, here we go, let's have him. Ow! I think I do need a pot. I'll be cheap. Coming in for round two. It's going down. There we go. Why? Dead, sucker. Believe it. You're dragonborn. Am I? In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. Um, yeah. There's only one way to find out. Try to shout. According Rah! to the old legends, only the dragonborn can shout without training. The way the dragons do. The dragon one who can kill dragons and steal their power. Right, let's give this a go. <coughs> Being awfully quiet. Summons the Thu. Tell us. You believe in this. He he he. Some of you would be better off keeping quiet, flapping your thumbs and mouths. But here's a dead dragon. And that's. Yes, I am. Right, I believe we're done here. Good, you're finally here. The Yarl's been waiting for you. You heard the summons. What else could it mean? The Greybeards. We were just talking about you. My brother needs a word with you. So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? <laughs> yes, he was. I knew I could count on Irileth. But there must be more to it than that. Dragonborn. What do you know about the Dragonborn? True. The grey beards really were summoning you. Masters of the way of the voice. 
They live in seclusion, high on the slopes at the throat of the world. The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a tune or shout. If you really are... Or oh, sing. Or oh, lullaby. You how to use your gift. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Anmora. Rangar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this, what, Dragonborn. Nord nonsense? Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Yeah. Rangar, don't be so hard on Avenichi. I nope. have no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with him? That's the Greybeards' business, not ours. Yeah, can you keep your big nose out of it, you. Dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're Dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I envy you, you know. To climb the 7,000 steps again. What? I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place. Very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. No matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. Well, thank you very much. I you Lydia as a personal house carl. And this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Back to business, Proventus. We still have a city to defend. Yes, my lord. Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. Why, hello. Lead the way. Right, so off we go to High Hrothgar.